Wilson, why don't you go catch a ball? You got it, coach. Ha! Yes! Oh! <laughs> Wilson, do you have any idea how to play football? You gotta watch out for Brad, too. Sorry, Wilson, but you failed. I failed? A weak loser like you will never make the team, obviously. I'll do better, I promise. Look, Wilson, if you really want to be part of the team, I guess you can be uh, the water boy or something. The water boy? Come on! Well, about time you came home. Sorry, Dad, I was just really busy. Let me guess, out trying for the football team again. I told you not to waste your time. But Dad, it's my dream. I'm gonna be the greatest football player ever. Glad you got a dream, Wilson, but it can't be this. Well, why not? That sport is far too dangerous. You're gonna get yourself hurt. I mean, look at you. You're definitely not built to be a football player. Well, this is what I wanna do. Well, sometimes what we wanna do isn't what we're gonna do. Football's not meant for you, Wilson. Dad? I'm your father and what i say goes around here just give it up man this sucks i should be the one out there playing i belong out there yo water idiot you want to do your job and give us some water or what <sighs> yeah sure here you go hey thanks wilson yeah thanks Ugh, this water's disgusting i knew you couldn't even do this right dude it's just water yeah and this is all you're gonna ever amount to loser a water boy so helplessly watching from the sidelines you look like you're about to cry oh boo shut up brad i should be out there playing and not you you cheated during that tryout cheated what are you talking about dude you didn't even give me a chance you sabotaged everything i tried to do dude it was the practice it's not my fault that you're so weak and slow if you weren't maybe you would have caught it and gotten away but you did it because you suck that's why you're wrong brad you don't know anything about me i can do this all right well if i'm gonna make the team next time i'm gonna do so much training let's get started <sighs> oh man this thing's going pretty fast <sighs> oh, ow. all right maybe this will work better one two oh man i'm kind of getting lightheaded three oh. hey wilson dude it's good to see you here man oh tj hey what are you doing here uh, i work out here too man i wanted to say i saw you at tryouts before you did pretty good and I'm sorry you didn't make the team. That's okay. I'll join the team soon. Don't worry. Yeah, with that determination, you definitely will. Yo, bro, you ready to work out or? Oh, oh no way. Wilson, dude, what are you doing here? I'm just getting a workout in, Brad. Oh, getting a workout in, huh? Little guy lifting little weights. TJ, were you making fun of this loser? No, Brad, I wasn't making fun of him. Look at him. He can barely hold the weight. What is that? 15 pounds? Oh, pathetic. Brad, you're such a jerk. What did you just say to me? I said you're a jerk. Everyone has to start somewhere. I'll show you, Brad. Look at this. Oh, uh, Wilson, don't. It's over 100 pounds. Uh, ah. <laughs> ah. Oh, man. Man, I can't believe you did that. You really hurt yourself back there. I know. Thanks, TJ, for your help. Do me a favor. Don't let Brad get to you like that. He's just a jerk. I know. It's just so tough. Well, listen, dude, if you really want to get stronger, you can come and train with me instead. Wait, really? You don't think I'm a loser like Brad? No, of course not, dude. You keep training hard and you stay determined, you're going to make the team. I kind of want to see you there. Wow, well, thank you so much. I'll think about it, okay? Yeah, no problem, dude. I'll see you later. See ya. Ah, hey, Dad. What is all this, Wilson? What happened? It's nothing, Dad. Just don't worry about it. Better not be football again. Focus on your schoolwork. Dad, I am focusing on school, but my passion is football. This is what I want to do. You're never going to succeed at football, Wilson. I mean, look at you. You look like a mess. Gee, thanks, Dad. Get yourself cleaned up for dinner. I don't want to hear any more about this football nonsense. Man, chemistry sucked today. That was the worst quiz ever. So, look at this. Stupid wannabe football player Wilson can't even handle a single blitz. Oh. Uh, what the heck, Brad? Knock it off. Oh my gosh, you can't even take a single joke, can you? Dude, your life is a joke. Get used to it. You're the joke for picking on me. You're the joke for thinking you can be a football player. It's not my fault you ended up being a water boy. What are you talking about? It totally is. You're going to be nothing more than a weak loser, Wilson. Everyone knows it. Right, guys? Oh. Yeah, he's super weak. Oh, that guy sucks. Brad, I am not a weak loser. I'm going to become a better player than you'll ever be. Oh, really? We'll see about that. Oh. You know, Wilson, I'm really glad you took me up on my offer. This is going to be awesome. Well, I'm just glad you offered at all. The only way I can be a better football player is if I can get stronger. Yeah, you got that right. 
You have a long way to go, but I know you can do this. Are you ready to get started? Oh, you know I am. All you need to do is pace yourself. And keep getting faster. There's only 23. You got two more. Nice. Good form. Keep it up. So, man, you've done a whole month worth of hard training. How do you feel? Honestly, TJ, I feel better than I've ever felt. Yeah, dude, you also look incredible. You've become so much stronger. Well, I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you so much for all the help. Dude, it wasn't really all me. I was just there to guide you. You had the hard work and determination. I mean, honestly, you're going to outpace me soon enough. <laughs> I don't know about that. I do, for sure. You're going to be on the team in no time. I just know it. You know, we're going to have tryouts again. You'll be back soon. Seriously? Well, this time, I'm going to make the team. Brad can't stop me this time. I can't wait to see the look on his face. Dude, nice throw, man. Are you kidding? Dude, well, nice catch. I threw that pretty far. Yeah, you did. Man, you're getting way better at the mechanics of this. Really? You think so? Uh, yeah, I know so. You basically already throw better than Brad. What? What did you just say? What's going on here? Uh, we're just practicing, Brad. Yeah, it's not illegal to practice here. Uh, yeah, it is. No one's allowed to practice without my permission. I'm the star of the team, and this is my field. Oh, yeah? Well, you won't be the star for much longer. Seriously, Wilson? Oh, keep running your mouth, dude. See how far it gets you. Probably longer than your stupid, skinny little legs. Brad, just leave him alone, dude. Cut it out. No, why don't you cut it out, TJ? I don't know what your problem is. Can't believe you're still hanging out with this loser. We used to be friends. Yeah, well, not really anymore, dude. Well, you know what, dude? If you want to waste your time with this pathetic nobody, fine. So be it. I wouldn't spend more than two minutes on him. Just get lost, Brad. Ugh, whatever. All right, team, let's get this practice over with. Hey, water boy, why don't you uh get water? Yeah, sure. Thanks, coach. Where is everybody? No one's open. Oh, this is so stupid. Brad, what are you doing? I'm gonna run it myself. I can do it all on my- Oh, no, no. Brad, dude, Brad, are no. you okay? Oh, I think I hurt myself, coach. Yeah, it looks like a sprained ankle. Way to go, Brad. I was trying, coach. Everyone else just sucked. Well, someone's gonna need to replace you in practice until your ankle heels this is my chance coach let me do it what water boy no i'm not thirsty right now no not water i'm talking about taking a spot i'll try out for the position the answer is no go have those waters ready for practice or something uh, you know what i'm gonna practice it anyway hey tj heads up wait what all right this is my chance go long huh. i got it i got it uh, caught it nice oh my gosh i just threw a touchdown hey Water boy, get over here right now. Look, coach, I'm sorry. I know I wasn't supposed to be practicing. That was one of the best passes I have seen in years. Wait, really? Yeah, absolutely. How do you feel about being the new quarterback for the team? The new quarterback? What? Are you kidding me? No way. Coach, that's not fair. I, I can still play. On a busted ankle? Yeah, right. Wilson, welcome to the team. Dad, dad, I've got great news. Dad, where are you? What is it, Wilson? What is going on? Dad, you're never going to believe this, but I made the football team. I'm now the new quarterback. You're what? Yeah, isn't that great? It's not the word I would use. What? I thought I told you to quit that sport, but you didn't listen to me, did you? Dad, it's my dream. Of course I didn't quit. That sport is far too dangerous. All you're going to do is get yourself hurt. This is terrible, terrible. Well, Dad, I'm not the same person that I was before. I'm stronger now. And I could take a couple hits. Yeah, that's what they all say until they get injured. I can't believe they'd let you join that team. I'm going to give Coach Barty a call. You're what? I'm going to call him first thing tomorrow and tell him you're quitting. That's it. No, Dad. You don't have to do that. I'll tell him that I'm quitting. Yeah, well, you better. Well, I'm one step closer to my goal. I made the team, but I gotta keep pushing myself. If I wanna be a great football player, I've gotta have my body built for it. Well, let's get to it, man. But hold on a sec. You think it was right to lie to your dad about this? Yeah, it'll be fine. My dad won't ever know. I'm gonna keep playing football a secret as long as I possibly can. Well, all right then. I know how bad you want this, so we're gonna be training a whole lot harder than before, dude. I hope you're ready for it. Oh, I'm more than ready. Whoa, dude, look at you go. You're faster than before. Come on, dude, two more reps. You can do this. Whoa, careful. You're gonna knock the bag off the chain. Oh, man, I'm feeling better than ever. Well, you're in fighting shape, and our first game is coming up, and I think you're finally ready for it now.
All right, boys, let's start our usual practice. Let's go. Huh, I'm gonna get you, Wilson. All right, and let's go. <laughs> oh. ha, you missed me. <laughs> wow, well, what'd you think, coach? Another smooth deflection. Incredible work, Wilson. You know, I'm impressed with all the progress you've been doing as quarterback lately. Well, it's also thanks to your coaching. I've learned so much from you. Yeah, well, of course you have. Incredible coach. But because of you, we've won every game so far. We're in an incredible position, and we're invited to partake in the state championship. Hey, coach, look who's back. Well, hey, Brad. No need to have this loser fill in for me anymore. I'm all healed up, and I'm ready to have my spot back. Oh, I'm really sorry about this, Brad, but uh, Wilson has become the full-time quarterback of the team. For good. No, 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 come on, coach. Please. That's not fair. I was just out for a little bit. Sorry once again, Brad. But if you're willing to play backup quarterback, we'll uh, need you on the bench. That's for sure. <laughs> Whoa, I can't believe that my plays have gone viral. I mean, look at this video. It's got over a million views. All these people in the comments, they just can't stop talking about me. Honestly, this is fantastic. People are realizing how much hard work I've put in. Just one step closer to my goal. Huh? Who could that be? Hello, can I help you? Hey, you're Wilson, aren't you? Um, yeah, that's me. Do I know you? You don't, but now you do. I'm actually the football scout for Eastside College. And let me tell you, kid, we've been very impressed with your skills. Wait, seriously? That's right. We'd actually like to offer you a full ride scholarship. Full ride? Oh my gosh, that's fantastic. Thank you so much for the offer. Yes, well, actually, I'd like to talk to your dad about this first. My dad? <laughs> Oh no. Yeah, you know, just some paperwork, some signatures, all that stuff. No, no, you, you can't see him right now. What are you talking about, kid? My dad is uh sick. Yeah, he's sick and he can't see anyone right now. Oh, why didn't you just say so? Well, we'll definitely be in touch soon. Don't worry. And I do hope you take us up on the offer. Trust me, sir, I'm really interested. Thanks again. Whew. That was close. Wilson, who was that outside? I heard someone knocking at the door. Yeah, it was just, uh, Girl Scouts. You know, selling their cookies and stuff. What? And you didn't tell me? I would have bought a box of Thin Mints. Ugh, good for nothing. All right, boys, we got to get ready for the state championship in a few days. I want drills around the clock, and I want you all to give it your best shot. We could win this this year, and I want to go home with that trophy. So, with that being said, let's start practice. And set. Ah! All right, enough, enough. Brad, what the heck was that? You weren't supposed to tackle Wilson. I was just dealing with the other opponents with do, coach, making sure our superstar quarterback was ready. Yeah, well, clearly breaking rules of practice won't set him up for success. Wilson, are you all right? Yeah, I think I'm okay. Let me just, ow! Yeah, clearly you're not okay. I think you need to go to the hospital. Ah! No, no, no! Uh -huh. So, Doc, how bad's the injury? Injury? What injury? You're totally fine. I am? Oh, thank goodness. Of course you're not fine, you idiot. Ugh, your ankle is broken. It's broken? Oh, no. Yeah, shattered pretty good. I haven't seen one broken like this in years. Well, Doc, thanks for taking care of Wilson. Yeah, no problem. <sighs> Getting sick of this. So, how you feeling, bud? I mean, it's just a broken ankle. I think I'll be fine enough to play at the state championship tomorrow. What? You can't play on that. We're gonna get two seconds of you out on the field, and then it's gonna be over. Not to mention, you could hurt yourself even more. Sorry, Wilson, but you can't play in the championship. No, no! This isn't how it's supposed to happen! I know, buddy, I know. I'm pretty disappointed, too. But Brad's gonna have to be quarterback in the game tomorrow. You can't be serious! Brad's the one that did this to me! Look, injury is just gonna be part of this sport sometimes. Nothing much we can do about it and we can't postpone the state championship trust me i uh called and tried so that's how it is then huh just heal up and uh we'll get back at it next season i promise ah man this sucks it does suck doesn't it you know what's even worse finding out that your son lied to you for months look dad no you look wilson look at yourself i told you that football was a dangerous sport and look at where it got you huh? i don't need to hear it from you injuries are just part of the sport dad it's not gonna stop me from playing you got lucky this was just an ankle injury what if you broke your whole leg or worse well, none of that matters look just just leave me alone i need to get ready for state. you're not going anywhere mister you are grounded and you're not allowed to go to that game dad come on stop acting like this acting like what your father responsible trying to watch out for you and 
take care of you? You are unbelievable, young man. So disrespectful. I'm not going to let you play this stupid sport any longer. It is over, Wilson. And that's that. How can my dad not understand that this is my dream? He always just says, huh, you're gonna hurt yourself. I don't care. I am gonna help my team win state, whether he wants me to or not. Come on, don't make too much noise. Brad, what are you doing? Coach, what is the problem? You keep turning over the ball and we're eventually gonna lose the game. Yeah, we're still gonna win this, coach. Trust no, me. No, we're not. Your head is not in the game tonight, Brad. You're benched. What? Come on, you can't bench me. Sorry, Brad. Shut up, TJ. Oh, you suck. We're gonna need a miracle if we're gonna win this game. Well, then it's a good thing that I'm here. Wilson. Put me in, coach. I'm ready. Wilson, we already talked about this. You can't play. Your ankle is broken. I don't care. I'm gonna win the state championships with or without a broken ankle. You are crazy, kid, but I'm not a quarterback, so you're in. Wilson, you need to be careful. Don't worry, TJ. I will be. We're gonna win this thing. All right, hut, hut, hike! <laughs> Whoa! Oh, you're not giving away for oh, me. Oh, yeah? Watch me! He is wide open. There's no one able to catch him, and Roblox High scores, and they've won the state championship. Up next in the RFL draft is one of the most prestigious teams out there. And the first draft goes to Brad Smelt. Oh, this is awesome. I've been drafted by the RFL. Now tell me, Brad, this must be the biggest moment of your life. Yeah, so far. Not until I win the Super Bowl, of course. Oh, oh yeah, of course, of course. You know, your former teammate Wilson's also going to be drafted as well. Oh, yeah, that's good for him. I'm glad he finally put all those things behind him. All those things? What are, what are we talking about here? Oh, Wilson had a lot of anger issues back in high school. Honestly, not a team player at all. Dude was kind of a wild card. Well, that's not good at all, but we'll see what he has in store for us. Nick, what's going on? I hate to break it to you, Wilson, but uh, there's a rumor going around about you. A rumor? I guess someone said something about you being a bad player. Anchor issues, I believe. What? Well, none of that's true. Yeah, you know that. I know that. But a lot of those teams don't know that. You might not get drafted at all. No, no, that can't happen. You're my agent. Can't you do something? I don't really know if there's anything I can do. Huh? I wonder who this could be. Hello? Hello, am I speaking to Wilson? Yeah, that's me. Yeah, awesome. Okay, my name is Coach Reese. I uh, coach the Robloxians. Oh my gosh, yeah. Well, what can I do for you? Well, uh, we just drafted Brad as our main quarterback, but uh, we're going to need a backup. What do you say? Are you in? Oh my gosh, yeah. I'm totally in. All right, awesome, awesome. Just got a couple questions for you, okay? First want to know. Are those rumors true about you? No, absolutely not. All right, you sure you're a team player? Because teamwork is a pillar over here at the Robloxian team. Absolutely. All right, all right, good. I'll send you guys an email with all the information you need. You're the final pick of the draft. Congratulations. You guys call that a practice? That was terrible. I want better work from you guys tomorrow, that's for sure. Wilson, what's up with you, huh? You're missing a lot of throws in practice. That's not good, Wilson. Not good looks at all. Look, I know. I'm sorry. It's just been an off day. You know you and Brad are competing for starting quarterback position. If you keep this up, you're not starting, that's for sure. Yeah, exactly. So keep playing terrible, Wilson. It'll be so good for me. I deserve that starting position, and it's all going to be mine. Oh. Yeah, right, Brad. Just shut up already. What? I thought you were great. I thought you were an awesome football player. I guess not. <laughs> <sighs> I'll show them both. I'm going to get that starting quarterback position. It's been a while since I even talked to my dad. hope he's doing all right, and I hope he likes this new house I just got him. Hey, Dad, how's it going? Yeah, yeah. There. Uh, okay. Well, how do you like the new house? You know, there are some perks to being a professional football player after all. Yeah, this place sucks. There's no money in football. It's not going to last forever. You're going to be done and that's it. And you're going to be nothing. Dad, come on. How long has it been? You still don't accept my career as a football player. This is my dream, you know? Yeah, dreams end and stupid, stupid old dreams. Dad, I've been doing great, and I've been helping you so much in the process, and I don't even get a thank you? I told you when you were younger, football was not for you. It's not meant to be a career, because it's not going to last. I don't have to stand here and listen to this. I don't even know why I try. Yeah, don't let the door hit you on the way out. Ugh. Yeah, the park's just up ahead. Oh, there it is. Thank goodness. 
Oh, man, I needed a break. Dude, you're getting so much faster than me. It's not fair. Oh, well, I've been training a lot more. Yeah, and honestly, dude, you've been seeming a little distant. Distant? What are you talking about? Well, I can tell something is bothering you, dude. So, out with it. What's going on? Well, to be honest, TJ, this whole starting quarterback battle is starting to get to me. Dude, I feel like nothing gets to you. I mean, you won state championship with a broken ankle. Yeah, well, it's just my dad. And if I lose this quarterback battle, my dad would never let me live it down. And he'd be right. All these years of trying to tell me not to be a football player, he'd have been right all along. I just don't know that all the hard work I put into this was worth anything. Do you hear yourself right now? Are you serious? Look at how far you've come. Not everybody can get drafted into an RFL football team, let alone make a pro and be good at it. Trust me, Wilson, you're doing the right thing. I know it. Your hard work is going to pay off. You know what? You're right. Thanks, TJ. I really needed that. Yeah, of course, dude. Now shake it off, all right? Leave all that stuff behind you and focus on your goals ahead of you. And right now, our goal is to finish this run. You're absolutely right. And I'm going to finish it before you. Oh, no, you're not. All right, boys, come on in. Settle down. I got a special announcement for the whole team. We finally made up our mind as to who the new starting quarterback is going to be. And congratulations. Brad, you're the starting quarterback. Oh, awesome. And Wilson, you're going to be running backup. Backup? No way, this gotta be some kind of mistake! It was kind of a close call, but the fellow coaches and myself believe Brad is the better fit to lead the team. Sorry, Wilson. You can always challenge Brad for the job next year. No, this isn't right! All right, everybody. Now that that's settled, it's time to stop practice. Brad, I want you to take point. Oh, you got it, kids. No problem. Sorry, Wilson. Enjoy watching me from the sidelines, where you belong. And welcome back to the show, everybody. My name is Doug Spalding, as you already know. And if you don't already know this man here, well, you're gonna. This is Brad. He is the lead quarterback of the Robloxian RFL football team. Now, Brad, let's talk real quick about football. Yeah, of course, Doug, no problem. We've been noticing that your team has been struggling under your leadership, and you actually might not make it to the Super Bowl. Oh, no, trust me, Doug, we're gonna make it. And it's the first year of me leading everybody, so they all just need to get used to, like, how I run things. You know what I mean? But there are rumors flying around that the coach is gonna put Wilson in instead of you. Is that true? Oh, yeah, absolutely not. Trust me, the coaches picked the right guy for the team. I am going to lead us to the Super Bowl. Trust and believe, Doug. Well, I sure hope so, because there's many people out there hoping that you win the Super Bowl, me included. Well, of course, I want to win, too. And Wilson is right where he belongs, on the sidelines, watching me win. Trust me, the team doesn't want a subpar quarterback leading them. That's for sure. Oh. <sighs> Brad is the worst. I should be the quarterback, not him. Oh my gosh, can I have your autograph? Oh, yeah, sure. Wait, oh, never mind. I thought you were Brad. Oops. Wait, but you know Brad, right? Can you give me his autograph? No, I'm not going to get you his autograph. Just get lost. Wow. Okay, fine, whatever. You suck. Hey, Dad, what do you want? Yeah, hey, uh, I need you to stop by the house. I got something to talk about. Hey, Dad, I'm here. Um, yeah, about time you showed up. Uh, look, we got to talk. Look. If you're trying to get me to quit football again, then you don't have to worry. I actually think I'm going to quit after this season. That's not what I want to talk about. I want to, uh, I want to admit I was wrong. Wait, what? Yeah, it doesn't happen often, but, uh, I think you were right. I think it's time I tell you the real reason why I never wanted you to play football. The real reason? Dad, what are you talking about? I never wanted you to play because, uh, I didn't want to see you hurt. I only focused on what I wanted instead of what you wanted. I wanted you to be safe and have a good job, I don't know, in an office somewhere or something. I wanted the best for you, but that's not what you want. Your football's really your passion, and what you want to do, uh, I'm going to support you. Really, Dad? Wow, that means so much. What was this you talking about? You're going to quit. Don't let losing starting quarterback get to you. You'll come back next when you're ready. It'll be the best. Trust me. Thanks, Dad. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Now, can you help me make some uh, Jello? I really want some Jello. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is the fourth quarter, and we are down to the wire. Oh, I got you. Oh. 
No. Brad, you, this has to be some of the worst football playing I've ever seen in my career. What is wrong with Huge, you? I'm doing my best, okay? They're just they're just a lot faster than I could think. Yeah, and I think I can't stand this any longer. Wilson, you're in. Wait, really? Did I stutter? Get in there. Brad, get off the field right now. No, this sucks. Hi, hut, hut, hike. Whoa, TJ. <laughs> Huh. And what an incredible catch by teammate TJ, where they have won the game with this final touchdown. Congratulations, throw blocks he is. Never in my history of sports announcement have I seen such a turnaround as this team right here. After Coach Reese switched out quarterback Brad for quarterback Wilson, the team has been on the up and up, and it has led them to this final moment, the Super Bowl, and the last play of the game. And the score is insanely close. Let's see how Wilson plays in these last final moments. All right, set, hike! All right, where is he, where is he? There you are, TJ! Ha! Well, ladies and gentlemen, yet again, the classic combo of Wilson and TJ have led to a touchdown, and Team Robloxians have won the Super Bowl. Wilson, what's the question over here? Yeah, William, anything you want. Well, I want to first congratulate you on winning your sixth Super Bowl. Six Super Bowls? Dude, that's incredible. Well, thanks so much. I put in a lot of hard work. No, I hate to say it, man, but uh, you're getting a little older. Is there any chance that you're thinking about retiring? Retiring? No way. I haven't even thought about it. All right, Andrew, today is the day you're going to propose to your girlfriend, Brandy. Oh, man, I'm so excited and extremely nervous. Whoa, what was that? Oh, my gosh, a car crash. Brandy! Andrew, please help me. I'm stuck. What am I supposed to do? I don't know. Just do something. Save me. I'm too weak. I can't lift this car. Huh? Ow, ow. You're moving it more on my leg. Ow, ow. ow. Andrew, are you okay? Oh, no, I think I threw up my back. All right, everybody, stay calm. Stay calm. What happened here? The car crashed and I need help, please. My boyfriend tried to help and... Seriously? You're a weak idiot. Don't worry, ma'am. We'll help you out first and then we'll take care of that dumb boyfriend of yours. Thank you so much. Oh, man, I'm sick and tired of feeling so weak. I promise I'm going to be the strongest man in the world one day. I never want to be in that position again. And I can't help the people that I love. So I'm going to work out as hard as I can and I'm going to become the strongest person ever. Huh, huh, huh. Oh man, my asthma is really acting up. Maybe lifting weights is a whole lot easier. 30, 40 pounds? Chia, yeah, only 30 pounds? You're so weak, you idiot. We're all trying to do our best here. Yeah, no way. I've heard all about you. My brother was that EMT that saved your girlfriend's life. Wait, seriously? What kind of coincidence is that? Well, my brother's been telling everyone how pathetic you were. You were just laying there hurt while your girlfriend was in trouble. <laughs> hey, I tried my best to save her, okay? Maybe I wasn't strong enough then, but I'm going to be strong enough. Just wait and see. Oh, yeah? I bet you can't even lift a piece of paper. <laughs> just go home already. I'm not going anywhere because that's giving up. And the strongest person in the world does not give up. All right, let's go with this one. All right. Oh, man, this is heavy. Ow, ooh, ow. Wow, you really are a weakling. <laughs> Luckily, I wasn't hurt too badly. I gotta go check up on Brandy. I'm actually feeling pretty good. My leg is almost fully healed. Hey, wait a second. Why do you look so sad? It's a good thing that I feel better. No, no, it is. It totally is. I just beat myself up a lot thinking about how I couldn't save you. I'm so sorry, Brandy. Andrew, it's okay that you didn't save me. Not everyone can lift a car. Plus, that's what EMTs and firefighters are for. Yeah, I know, but I love you so much, and I had to do something. What are you doing here? Actually, I just hurt myself again trying to lift weights. <laughs> Seriously? I've never seen you lift more than a bag of groceries. Why were you doing that? Because I never want to feel that hopeless again. I know I'm weak. Probably the weakest person on the planet. But now, I'm going to be the strongest person ever, and I'm going to dedicate my life to helping people. I think that's a great idea, but don't push yourself too hard, okay? Because you could get hurt again. Hey, Brandy! Oh my gosh, Chet, hi! What is he doing here? I just wanted to check on Brandy since she has a weak loser for a boyfriend. Seriously, dude, back <laughs> off, okay? She's my girlfriend. I did my best to try and save her. Yeah, well, I'm the one that ended up saving her, so you should be with the real hero, Brandy, not some weak idiot. I am not a weak idiot! Guys, that's enough! Both of you, leave! The jerk Chet has no idea what he's talking about. I'm not a weak loser. I'm just weak. All right, let's get to it. Instead of 30 pounds, let's go, uh, let's go 15. All right, yeah. 
This isn't that bad. I can do this. Hey, man, what's up? Look, man, if you're gonna make fun of me, just leave me alone. Whoa, hey, I'm not here to make fun of you. I saw you at the gym last week. My name's Reggie. Uh, hi, Reggie. Uh, I'm Andrew. I'm surprised to see you back here, man. Most people go to the gym a couple times and just give up and never see him again. Well, thanks. Figure just one little setback shouldn't make me quit. You want to get stronger? Why don't I give you some help? Wait, really? Exactly, man. Yeah, man, I could definitely help you. And no offense, but you definitely need it. Yeah, I for sure do. I'm willing to take any advice you got for me. All right, let's do this. Weight is important, but it's mostly about the reps, man. Yeah, okay. Come on, man. Core strength is important. Let's go. Uh, uh, Come on, man. Hit the bag harder. Hit it. Hit it. You know, I feel really good about myself. Yeah, man, you should be. I can see some instant improvement out of you. You got this. All right, I can already feel myself getting stronger. I know I really want to dedicate myself to helping people, change my life, and do good. I think I know exactly what I want to do. I'm going to be a firefighter. Excuse me, are you the fire chief? Yeah, name's Dale. How can I help you? Hi, Dale. My name is Andrew, and uh, I really want to be a firefighter. <laughs> Kid, that's funny. No, sir, it's not a joke. I would really want to be a firefighter. I was hoping you could tell me maybe how I could get started. Yeah, all right, and all right. Look, could... hold your horses, all right? You got to be fair and honest with you, man. You need to be in a whole lot better shape to be a firefighter. You seem like a nice guy, but look at you. Your body's shaped like a pear with little pre from. Yeah, sure. I may not be in the best shape now, but I'm working out almost every single day. I feel my body getting stronger, and I know this is what I want to do. Look, I like your enthusiasm and your determination. That's what it takes to be a firefighter in this place. A lot of these boys could take no. So please tell me, how do I get started? Well, first you gotta take a fitness test, and then you can get into Firefighter Academy. A fitness test? I can do that. No problem. There's one coming up in a couple weeks. Sign-ups are located online. Oh, thanks, Dale. I'll see you around. Yeah, I hope I see you around too. Freddy, was that my sandwich? All right, I can do this. Hey, watch where you're going. Oh, it's you. What are you doing here? I'm applying to be a firefighter, if it's any of your business. Here, what? <laughs> That's the funniest thing I've heard all day. Oh, really? I'm glad my life dream is something so funny to you, Chet. A loser like you could never be a firefighter. I just still can't believe that Brandy would be with someone like you. Doesn't matter what you think. Brandy loves me for who I am. She probably sees right through you and your fake act. No matter what you think, I know what my goal is now, and I'm going to reach it. So just get out of my way, Chet. Hey, Reggie, we need to start stepping up my training. Stepping up your training? But why? Well, I need to pass a fitness test to get into the Firefighter Academy, so I've got to put the pedal to the metal. You know, if you dedicate yourself to this, you could become the strongest person ever, and I know that's your goal. Well, that's one of them. My first goal is to pass this test and become a firefighter. All right, dude, let's get to it. All right, and time. Man, that was a really good workout today. Yeah, it was. It felt really good. These past few months have been amazing. I really think I'm going to become the strongest person ever real soon. <laughs> Andrew, I love you, buddy, but you've got a long way to go. I have to admit, I am really proud of you from the progress you made. Thanks, Reggie. I don't know if I'd be able to do it without your help. Why don't we get some food? Because I'm starving. Yeah, that's a good idea. Wow, you look beautiful. <laughs> Stop it. You know, I'm so excited to see you. It's been so long since we've gone on a date together. Yeah, I know. Well, are you ready to head in? More than anything. Ah! Oh my gosh, what was that? That guy up there! Someone please help! Help! Hold on a second, Brandy. I gotta help this guy. Andrew, wait! It's alright, man. I'll just hold on tight, okay? Please hurry! Alright, what's your name? My name's Billy! Alright, Billy, just grab my hand. Ah! Whoa! Thank you so much! You saved me! No problem, man. I'm just glad I was nearby. You sure you're okay? Yeah, thanks to you. Man, I'm gonna quit this job. Oh my gosh, Andrew. That was incredible. You saved that man's life. I am starting to feel a whole lot stronger, that's for sure. <coughs> Your asthma is still acting up. Yeah, but... But it's okay. I'm actually happy I was able to save somebody. Look at you, my big strong hero. Oh, stop it. Come on, let's go inside and celebrate. I'm gonna get you a nice, fancy meal. Hey, Reggie, you ready to get started? Yeah, man, you're here early. You look more determined than ever. Yeah, well, I'm ready to become stronger than I already am now. I saved someone's life last night. Wait, you did what? Some man tripped and fell off a building. He got stuck and I was able to save him. Whoa, dude, that's impressive. See, look, you're already getting stronger. Yeah, I am, and I need to keep going. I want to make a difference in the world, man. Dude, you're going to make a difference. Trust me. But these workouts are going to be a lot more intense now. Yeah, well, I'm ready for anything. <laughs> you say that now. But let's get started. 
How was my time? Dude, that was the fastest time that you've done yet. All right, let's go. Oh, man, I feel so pumped. Man, I've got to say, you've gotten into such incredible shape. You're way stronger than you were before. Yeah, and I feel a whole lot better, too. How's your asthma doing? Well, actually, I think it's starting to get a little better. I feel myself a little less out of breath more and more each day. Great, that's awesome. But I'm still far away from my goal. Yeah, well, I think you're going to pass the fitness test with ease at the fire department. Hey, Dale! Andrew! Is that you? Dude, you look incredible! Yeah, man, I told you I was gonna improve. Been a long time. I'm kind of shocked to see this transformation. What are you doing here? Well, I'm here to sign up for the fitness test. I want to get into the Firefighter Academy. Oh, yeah, no problem. We got a test coming up next week. I'll be there. What on earth are you even doing here? I'm taking the fitness test. You really think you can pass? <laughs> That's a funny joke. Honestly, Chet, the joke is you. I am going to pass, and I'm going to get right into that firefighter school. Probably finish first in my class, too. You don't deserve to be a firefighter. You have no idea what it's like to save a life. Actually, Chet, I do know what it's like to save a life. If you'll excuse me, I have a test to pass. All right, Andrew, are you ready? More than ever. Excellent. Now the test is timed. You gotta run through the course and get to the finish line in one piece. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Let's go. I can do this. I got this. I'm gonna become a firefighter. Whoa! Oh! oh! <laughs> Man, my leg. Andrew, Andrew, are you okay? I think I'm okay. It's just my leg. Oh! I'm sorry, Andrew, but uh, time's run out. You failed the test. Ow, ow, ow. It's all right. Don't worry. You're just fine. <sighs> Well, it hurts really bad. What happened, Doc? Well, unfortunately, kid, you broke your ankle. Now you can't work out until it heals. Seriously? I need to take time off the gym? Well, how long are we talking? Like a couple days or... A couple days? Try a couple months. You need to take it really easy and let this broken ankle heal properly. Come on, Doc. I can't be out of the gym for that long. Well, you don't really have a choice now, do you? I guess I really don't. Now, if you'll excuse me, I gotta attend to some other patients. I'll be back later. Man, this sucks. Hey, how you feeling? Oh, Dale, hi. Uh, I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling good. I heard the doctor. Broken ankle, huh? Yeah, and I guess I'll be out of the gym for a while, too. Man, I gotta say, it really sucks that you didn't pass the fitness test. But we got more coming up, so you can always take it again. Really? Well, that's some good news, at least. You definitely have to take it again next time. Yeah, well, good luck and rest up, okay? Keep yourself in one piece. We'll need you at your best if you're gonna pass and join the team. I will, I, I promise. I'll catch you later, Andrew. Oh, man, I feel more determined than ever. I know for a fact I'm gonna pass that exam. Ah, oh, I just gotta let this heal first. All right, I know the doctor said I still have some more time to heal, but I feel fine. I can do this. I can work out with a broken ankle. All right, let's just start with some basic weights. Oh, oof. Oh, well, well, well. If it isn't the one-legged wonder. <laughs> Man, I really got to start working out at another gym. What do you want? I just came to say that I'm so sorry you didn't pass the fitness test. I guess you just really weren't strong enough. I was strong enough. It was just an accident, that's all. The accident was letting you take that test in the first place. Just face it, you're never never going to be strong enough. Chet, why don't you leave Andrew alone? Or do you want to deal with me? Tch, whatever. I'm just here to work out, man. You know, I feel much better. I'm, I can get back to it. Oh, no, you can't. Look at you. You're a mess. How bad does that ankle hurt? It hurts pretty bad, but it's fine. It's really fine. I, I know I can do this. Listen, Andrew, I know that you want to be strong, but you can't do anything if you're hurt. A strong person knows when to rest. Just go home, okay? Reggie, I don't want to just give up. You're not giving up. It's smarter for you to heal up and then come back. Yeah, I guess maybe you're right. Maybe this wasn't the best idea. Whenever you're ready, we can get back to it. So, it's been a month now, Andrew. How's your ankle feeling? I think I'm basically back to 100% now. I'm just gonna start going back to the gym with Reggie, and I'm gonna get back on track. You know, I gotta say, you are so determined to do this. It's really nice to see. Well, I'm just determined on reaching my goal, that's all. I set it for myself, and I have to meet it no matter what. I agree, Andrew, but I just don't want you to overwork yourself. I worry about you. I'll be fine, Brandy. Don't worry. You better be fine, Andrew. This goal of yours is great, but I don't want it to hurt you. I I promise, I'm not gonna push myself too far and I'll be careful. Hey Brandy. Wow, you're looking incredible today. It's great to see you. Oh, hey, it's good to see you too, Chet. You're seriously still with this loser? <laughs> It's honestly unbelievable. Wait, Brandy, I got this. Chet, back off me and my girlfriend. Get lost. I'm just trying to show Brandy what she's missing out on, man. Look, if you're ever looking to ditch this zero and actually get with a real hero, you know where to find me. Well, it looks like your ankle's all healed up. Now it's time to get back to work, Andrew. 
Dude, I am more than ready to get back in this gym. I've honestly missed this place. This is gonna be tougher than before, but this is where the real growth comes. Don't worry, I can handle it. I wanna be even stronger than I was the last time I took that fitness test. So when are you gonna take the test? Probably taking it another week. Soon I'm gonna be the strongest person ever. I already feel like I'm getting closer to that goal. All right, just the last bit left. I got this, I can do this. And finished. Oh man, Andrew, you passed the test. Honestly, you broke my record. Oh man, you have no idea how long I've been waiting for you to say that. Welcome to the Firefighter Academy, Andrew. Oh man, thank you so much, Dale. You thought that was a hard test? Being a firefighter is not an easy job. We are risking our lives on a daily basis to save others. And that's what I want to do. I want to save people, and I'm more than up to the task. Are you sure this is what you want? Because once you go back... No, trust me, this is absolutely what I want. All right, I can't wait for you to start class. All right, Andrew, this is your first fire. You ready? Yeah, more than anything. What do you need me to do? Help me, please! Help me! Oh, there's someone still inside. Don't worry, I'll go get him. Hold on, Andrew, wait! Don't go in on your own! Oh, man, this fire is super intense. <coughs> Hello? <coughs> Hello? <coughs> hey, is anybody here? Help me, please! Help! Oh. I'm here. Help me, I'm stuck! Don't worry, I got you. <coughs> oh. Thank you. All right, follow me out. I can't see. <laughs> oh, the smoke is so bad. I know, but don't worry. I got you. Oh, you saved my life. Thank you. Oh, all in a day's work, man. Don't worry. I'm glad you're okay. No way. He actually did it? <laughs> I won't let him succeed. I can't. <sighs> Just finishing up my lap and... All right, done. Oh, man, that was a nice jog. Time to treat myself to a little coffee. Well, 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 look who it is. If it isn't the new hero in town. Just minding my own business, Chet. Why don't you mind yours? How can I possibly do that when your stupid attempt at being a firefighter went horrible? What are you talking about? I saved a man's life. Sure, but you look like an idiot doing it. Why do you hate me so much? You barely know me. You do nothing but put me down. What is your problem? You know what? Fine, I'll tell you. I've always been the strongest and the coolest person. I was the one that broke records and saved people. Not you. Now you're trying to act like you're so big and so strong. You think you're better than me, don't you? No, I don't. I don't think that way at all. I'm gonna be the one that gets all the attention. Not you, you loser. Seriously, that's what you're doing this for? I thought you were doing it to help save people's lives, man. It's so lame. I'm gonna make sure that you fail. And I'm also gonna make sure that the world sees you for the fake, pathetic loser that you are. You'll never be the strongest person in the world. 98, 99, 100. Ooh, Andrew, that was a good job. That's your new personal best. Thanks, Reggie. You know, I'll keep beating these goals. Soon I don't know if I'll have any more to beat. Only 100 reps? <laughs> Dude, how are you still so weak? Actually, that's pretty good. With only 100 reps, you're never going to be strong enough for the lifting competition. What are you talking about? Well, it's exactly what I just said. And whoever wins will be considered the strongest person ever. Me and Chad are going to enter. We're going to battle it out to see who's the strongest. Well, count me in. You're kidding, right? Oh, no, I'm not kidding. I'm definitely down to join that competition. Yeah, there's no way you're ever gonna win it. Yeah? Well, why don't we just wait for the competition and find out, huh? See who the strongest really is. Well, it's gonna be me, so just don't even bother. 48, 49, 50. All right, what's next? Hey, chicken legs, we gotta talk. Seriously? Yeah, a little birdie told me that you're gonna be at the lifting tournament. I'm guessing that little birdie is your dumb brother, Chad. Yeah, it was my brother, Chad. What makes you think you can join the competition anyway? Um, it's a pretty open enrollment. I just actually filled out a little application and- Just shut up, dude. You're so annoying. Hey, Chad, what's wrong? It seems as though you're upset that you actually have competition now. Competition? Yeah, right. I'm just annoyed that you'd even think about trying to join. Because I think you might be upset that there's someone else that could win this competition. And that would embarrass you, wouldn't it? There's no way you're going to beat me. I am going to beat you. Just wait and... Uh-oh, this is not good. Hey, Chief? Andrew, there's an emergency. We need you at the firehouse right away. I'll be right there. Chief, what's the problem? There's a tornado hitting downtown. We need to get over there and start helping people evacuate. Downtown? Brandy lives downtown. Yeah, a lot of people live downtown. This is an emergency, Andrew. We gotta get moving. Oh, no. Place is completely destroyed. Oh, where could she be? Brandy? Somebody please help me. Help! 
Wait, that's her. Brandy, oh my gosh, are you okay? Andrew, please, I need help. Just like last time, you're too weak to pick up that car. Some hero you are. Not now, Chet. Brandy, I'm gonna lift the car off of you, okay? Look, just wait for the machine to get over here, okay? That car's clearly way too heavy for you. No, it's not. I've been working towards this moment. All right, Brandy, on the count of three, I'm going to lift the car. Okay, just hurry. One, two, three. Oh my gosh, Andrew, you did it. You saved me. Yeah, I did. I'm so glad you're okay. No way. I can't believe this. So I'm thinking about taking Brandy on a vacation sometime soon. Ugh, just somewhere nice, you know, somewhere we can get away and escape. Hey, Andrew, I just wanted to tell you that I'm really proud of you. Proud of me? What are you talking about, Reg? I know you've been working really hard these past few months. You've come a long way, man. You stuck with it, and it's showing. Staying true to Brandy, you've become an inspiration, man, to me. Really? Because you're the one that inspired me, dude. Come on. No, I'm serious. I'm really happy to see the person that you've become. Yeah, I am too. I was able to transform myself, and now I can really help people. You know how I've been keeping track of what you've been lifting, right? Yeah, of course. Well, I think you might be closer to lifting the world record. You've got to be kidding. Really? Yeah, man. You keep trying, and I'm sure you'll be able to do it. Could you imagine me beating a world record? That would be so cool. I think that's another goal added onto the list. There's no way I'm going to let that happen. Shh, be quiet. Sorry, dude. Gotta make sure we're not caught, okay? Just can't believe we can't lift as much as Andrew anymore. Yeah, like, how'd he get so strong? I don't know. He's always been a weak loser. And you know what? I'm not gonna lose this competition. Yeah, so what are you gonna do? I don't know. You got any bright ideas? Uh, I don't know. Maybe switch his weights or something? If the weights are crazy heavy, there's no way he could lift it, right? That's a great idea. I'm so glad I thought of it. Hey, there's no way he's gonna be able to lift this. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Yeah, time to do a little warm up. What the heck? What? What is it? Uh, uh, oh man, I can't seem to lift this weight at all. What are you talking about? That's the weight you usually start with. Yeah, I know, but something's not right. Uh, oh, what's the matter? I can't lift that super light weight anymore, Andrew. Something must be wrong with the weights. That's all. Wrong with the weights? That sounds an awful lot like you've been cheating this whole time. Cheating? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I bet you've been using fake weights. I've been working out with Andrew for a long time now. He's never used fake weights once. And why? should I trust you? Chet, don't get me started. All right, guys, enough. You did something to these weights, didn't you, Chet? No way. You're just a poor, pathetic weakling as always. I knew it from the start. Shut up, Chet. No, Reggie, stop. He's not worth it. I'm gonna go home. Oh, look, the poor baby's giving up again. <laughs> Andrew, what's wrong? Just some stupid trick Chet pulled at the gym. What did he do? I don't know exactly. He must have messed with my weights or something. I couldn't even get started with my workout. That's not like you at all. Yeah, I know. It's just so frustrating. Hey, don't worry. It'll be okay. I still believe in you no matter what. Just got in my head is all, you know? I thought for a split second that, like, I didn't do all those things I was doing, you know? Well, I'm proud of you for everything that you've done. You're stronger, healthier, and you're one of the best firefighters in town, constantly saving lives. Well, I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna become the strongest person ever, remember? How could I forget? You tell me all the time. I'm gonna go to that weightlifting competition, and I'm going to win it. And I'm gonna break the world record, too. That's great, Andrew. I'm just a little worried. Worried about what? I promise I've learned so much about working out now that I'm not gonna hurt myself while I do this. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried that you're doing this for the, for the wrong reason. What do you mean by that? Are you trying to prove to yourself? Or are you doing it to prove it to Chet? I'm doing it for both. You know, I want to put that jerk in his place. And even if I have to start over from the whole beginning, I will. I'm going to work super hard and prove it to him, myself, and everyone else. I know I can do this. I know you can too. And I have faith in you. All right. I got this. And done. <sighs> wow, Andrew. That was a really fast 50 miles. I think you're in the best shape of your life now. Yeah, I know, but... I just don't know why I could barely lift the other day. It was so weird. It just got in my head. I psyched myself out. You see, I've been meaning to tell you about that. Turns out that the normal weights were switched with heavier ones. They even somehow got the labels changed and everything. What? How is that even possible? I don't know. No one alone could lift that much weight. Like, say, maybe big, tough, strong brother. What are you trying to get at? Oh, I knew it. Chet, he was the one that tried to sabotage me. He's been at it from the start. Man, it just makes me so mad. I want to beat them more than ever now. I'm going to keep working harder and show them. 
Well, well, it's the cheater himself. Have you come to confess yet? Come to confess that I know the truth, Chet? You were the one that messed with the weights, didn't you? What? What are you talking about? You've been trying to sabotage me since the moment you met me, dude. Look, I don't need to sabotage you. I'm still going to win that competition. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, I am. And when I do, I'm going to get you fired from the fire station. Fired from the fire station? How? How are you even going to do that? Oh, I've got my ways. Don't you worry. Chet, honestly, it seems as though you're the one that's worried. Worried that I'm going to embarrass you in front of a big group of people at that competition. What? No way. I I'm not nervous at all. I can see it on your face right now. Yeah, whatever. You're going down at that competition. Just shut up and stay out of my way. You are the one that needs to shut up and stay out of my way. I'm sick of you messing with me. This ends now, Chad. Whatever. You know, I gotta say, it's nice we're all having dinner together. Yeah, Andrew, this was really a great idea. One of the few good ideas he's had. But Andrew, Reggie and I have been talking and we just wanted to say how proud we are of you. Wait, really? Yeah, man, of course. Seeing your journey from a long time ago till now, it's really impressive and inspiring. You don't let anything stop you and you work as hard as you can. And you stay true to yourself. That's the most important. Well, thanks, Reggie, for always believing in me. And a special thanks to you, Brandy. You've been my rock throughout this whole thing. So what's all this about? You take us to a fancy dinner to thank us? Sort of. I wanted to spend this special night with two of the most important people in my life. But more so you, Brandy. Me? What are you talking about, goofball? Well, I love you. And I love you too. And I'm glad I have my best friend Reggie here, because I don't know if I'd have the confidence to do it if he wasn't. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. Andrew, what is going on? Brandy, you are the love of my life. Oh my gosh. When you got into that first accident, I was planning on doing this then. Things have gotten so crazy and, and I lost track of time. But I'm on track now, and I've finally got the strength to ask you. Will you marry me? Andrew, yes! Yes, of course! I'm so happy. It's about time you two figured this out. Oh, shut up, Reg. Andrew, the ring is beautiful. Thank you so much. I love it, and I love you. I love you guys a whole lot. And with you by my side, there's nothing I can't do. Like taking first in that lifting competition? Oh, he's gonna win it, Brandy. Trust me. Andrew, I need to talk to you. Chet, I'm really not in the mood for this right now. Look, it's serious, so just listen, okay? Fine, what do you want to talk about? I wanted to apologize. Apologize? All right, I'm not falling for no, this. No, I'm being serious. I just felt insecure that I wouldn't be the coolest person anymore. Really? Chet, dude, you shouldn't care about what other people think about you. The only thing that matters is what you think. Look, I know, you're right. That's why I'm saying sorry. I really want to make it up to you. I heard about this amazing hiking path that we could hit up. Maybe we can go on a run or something. Really, Chet? I, I don't know. Come on, man. I I'm really trying here. Well, if you're serious, guess I don't see anything wrong with that. Awesome. Great. I'll text you the address. How much further do we need to go? It's just here, right up ahead. Look. Here? Seriously? I don't know, man. This is way out here. Some nature before the competition should be good. How long did you say this path was? It's just a couple miles, but there's a sweet waterfall when you get to the end. Well, that's kind of cool. Why don't you go out ahead of me? You can take a look around. You know, this actually is kind of nice. Maybe we actually will be friends. Yeah, right. Me be friends with a weakling like you? Later, loser. Oh, come on. <laughs> you can't be serious, Chet. How could I have fallen for this? Yeah. Now I'm stuck in the middle of nowhere. How am I going to make the competition tomorrow? I'm going to get back there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the weightlifting competition of the year. We're about to get started in just a few minutes. Hey, uh, Chet, looks as though you're the only contestant here. Where is everyone else? <laughs> How should I know? Guess they're all just too scared. Well, they've got about five more minutes before they're disqualified. <laughs> Perfect. Looks like I am gonna be the strongest person ever. Just wait, I'm here, sorry. Well, it took you long enough. There's no way. You thought you could get rid of me that easily? Just think again, Chet. All right, I don't really care what's going on here. Let's get this weightlifting competition started. Ladies and gentlemen, up first is Chet. Chet, you need to lift this bus. That'll be a piece of cake. <laughs> All right, Andrew, you're up next. You think that's impressive? Check this out. Wait, where is he going? Ladies and gentlemen, he's running over to a plane. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, well, I can easily lift that too. <laughs> oh, oh, my back. Well, oh. ladies and gentlemen, our winner of the competition is Andrew. Yes, yes, I did it. You've just beaten the world record for lifting. All right, Steven, you want to be a firefighter? You know what you have to do. 
Oh, I could do this. I could do this. No, you can't, loser. You're gonna fail. What? No, I won't. I know I can do this. Do you have any idea how physically demanding it is being a firefighter? Look at you, man. You're like a toothpick. Oh, yeah? Well, just watch me. Let's show this loser what I can really do. Wow, I, I'm really doing this. Ah! Oh my gosh, my leg. Oh, I knew this was gonna be good. Did the little baby hood himself? Oh, too bad, loser. I told you you would fail and look what happened. Failure. Oh yeah, well this is not gonna set me back. I will be the best firefighter anyone has ever seen. Just watch now. <laughs> Just stay down in the dirt where you belong, loser. Doctor said I hurt my ankle pretty bad, but you know what? I'm not gonna let that slow me down. I've gotta keep training. I think maybe a little bit of cardio will work. Let's get on the treadmill. All right, this isn't too bad. What the heck? Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, I'm training, sir. With crutches, you cannot be serious. You need to get out of here right now. Please, you don't understand. I have to pass the firefighter test. <laughs> oh my gosh, Steven, you've been coming into my gym for a while now. You're weak, pathetic, and you're shaped like a tube of toothpaste. This is never gonna happen. You'll never be a firefighter. Thank you so much for all the motivation. Look, I don't have a problem with you coming to my gym, okay? My problem is you're causing a scene. You're hobbling around with crutches like an idiot. You are banned from banned? this gym. You can't be serious. Banned until your ankle is better. Actually, you know what? Just don't come back at all. You're just permanently banned. Wow. It really feels like it was yesterday. I can't believe it's been five years since... since Dad passed away. Yeah, I can't believe it's been that long either. I miss you, Dad. It it breaks my heart every time I think about him. Well, you know, he was the best firefighter that ever lived. I just still can't believe he didn't make it out of that fire. It was completely out of control. The biggest fire the city has ever seen. Dad tried his best, but couldn't make it out. And I can't believe that you're gonna follow in his footsteps, Steven. I have to. It's my dream. This is something that I have to do, Tracy. No, you can't be a firefighter. I can't lose another person in my life. First it was mom, then dad. I I can't lose you too. You won't lose me. You don't have to worry at all. I'll be completely you fine. You can't promise that, Steven. Look at what happened to Tracy, dad. you just don't understand. This is my destiny. Don't think it is, Steven. No one else thinks you can do this. And look, you've already hurt yourself in the process of trying. Well, you're wrong. I'm going to become the best firefighter in the entire world. I, I need a minute to myself. Tracy, come back! I am so pumped to be back at the gym. And this new gym, we're going to start fresh. Now that my ankle's all better, I can finally start to work out uh, at full- What are you doing here? I should be asking the same question. Isn't it obvious I basically live here? I've never seen you work out at my gym. But yeah, this is my first time here. Oh no, I can't believe they'd even let you in here. You're an embarrassment. Just go. What is wrong I'm with you? I'm just putting you in your place, that's all. I know how much you want to be a firefighter. Whoa. Guess what? I officially am one now. No way way. How could they let someone like you become a firefighter? Because I'm at peak physical excellence. That's why. I passed the exam in record time. You're never gonna be like me. Look, dude, just shut up. I'm taking the exam so I can become a fully-fledged firefighter. I'm gonna save people and be a hero. Oh, yeah, right. You're a loser. Always have been, always will be. You know, be. the real loser is someone who picks on people. What? Shut up, Chip. You're pathetic, too. Oh, yeah, Brad. Why don't you go for Flex in the mirror and take pictures of your biceps some more. Oh, whatever! Get out of my gym, Steven. You don't belong here. And my name's not Brad. It's Chad. Yeah, of course it is. Sorry about that guy. He is a total Chad. Nah, it's nothing. I'm not gonna let anyone stop me from this goal. Do you need someone to help you train? Oh, yeah. I would love that. Frankly, I could use all the help I can get. I mean, with your determination, you could do anything, man. Why don't you meet me at the pool tomorrow morning? We can start training then. Oh, 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 oh my gosh! Come on, man! You've only done two laps! You can do this! No, uh, I gotta stop! Oh, oh, oh man! Uh, thanks, man. Look, everybody has to start somewhere, okay? It's hard to get going, but once you get the ball moving, you'll be fine. The only way to achieve this dream of yours is through hard work and determination. You know that. Yeah, you're right. I do know that. Either you can make excuses or get it done, man. What do you want to do? Well, I certainly want to get it done. You're right, Chip. Let's keep training. 
You got this, Steven. Don't worry. You're improving. Man, I am feeling a lot better. Steven, you have been improving like crazy, man. I'm so proud of you, dude. I couldn't do without you. Sometimes we just need a little extra motivation, that's all. Someone to always have your back. You know that's me. You're absolutely right. Now, I'm gonna go down to the fire station and sign up for the next test. All right, all I need to do is find the fire chief and sign up for the next exam. Yeah, and then I told her it's not me, it's you. You know what I mean? Hold on a second. What the heck are you doing here? Chad, you should know exactly why I'm here. I'm here to become a firefighter. Where's the fire chief? Oh no, the chief doesn't have time to talk to complete losers, okay? I am not a loser. I have been getting in the best shape of my life, and I've been studying and training more than ever. Oh man, you can lift 25 pounds and do a push-up. So proud of you. You know what, Chad? You told me that I couldn't accomplish this dream. I'll show you. Oh, you think you're gonna be my boss? Don't make me laugh. Huh? Station 12, we have an emergency, emergency at 111 one, 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 Maple Lane. Lane. Got, Got a code, code six. six. Good six. Oh no, that's a big fire. Wait, that's my sister's house. I'm coming with you guys. Uh, no, you're not. You're not a firefighter, dude. Stop acting like it. Leave this job to the real heroes. No, I don't care. My sister's in trouble and I'm gonna help her. Whoa, this fire is crazy. Somebody, please. <laughs> You've got to do something. I've never seen a fire this bad. I, I don't know what to do. You don't know what to do? Oh, you talked such a big game before, Chad. How about putting it into action? I'm supposed to wait until the fire chief gets here, okay? I'm following protocol. You know what? Who cares about the protocol? What? You're crazy, man. <laughs> Tracy, where are you? Oh, Steven? <laughs> Is that Tracy, you? There you are. <coughs> Come on. We got to get you out of here. Oh my gosh, you're crazy. Just follow me, okay? <coughs> oh my gosh. Steven? Steven? Steven, where are you? Oh no. <coughs> I think I'm trapped in here. You know what? No. No, I need to fight through this. Ah, ah. <gasps> Steven! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh man. Where am I? You're in the hospital, you idiot. Tracy! Tracy, you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. But look at you, though. Steven, I'm so mad at you. I can't believe you would run into a burning building like that. What choice did I have? I had to save you, because guess what? No one else was going to. Our father was a firefighter. You know better than anyone how dangerous that can be. None of that matters. I did it to save you. You were not invincible. In fact, you are very much the opposite of that. You would have died in that house today if it wasn't for me. I'm not going to let anyone else go through what we had to go through, even if it means I have to put myself at risk. Oh my gosh, you are just as stubborn as dad was. Because it means saving innocent lives. Look, Steven, you're a really good guy. I'm sorry I snapped at you. It just, it freaked me out. I, I can't lose who's you i know and you won't i promise you know you can't make that promise well i do know that i'm gonna become even stronger than before all that smoke in my lungs from that fire is still taking a toll on me but i've got to keep going training doesn't stop and neither do i hey you steven jones uh yeah that's me fire chief swanson nice to meet you Heard about what you did the other day. Oh, yeah, I'm really sorry, but that firefighter of yours, Chad, wasn't going to help my sister, so I had no choice. You're right. You didn't have a choice, and you're brave, and I really want you to come back and take the firefighter exam. Really? Are you serious? Look at this mustache. You think this is the face of a man that jokes around? And Stephen Jones, huh? I knew your father. Best firefighter in town. Also made a mean meatball sandwich. Thank you so much. I'm going to train even harder now than ever before. Yeah, you better get to it. And don't forget to sign up for that exam. We need people like you in the department. 100%. So now even the chief wants you to sign up? Dude, that's incredible. I know it is, but I only have a month until the exam. Only a month, huh? Man, we're gonna have to put in a whole lot of work. Well, don't worry, I'm ready for anything. Uh, let's do this. Time to get you back into shape. Wow, I really feel myself getting stronger. You're doing better, Steven. Come on, push yourself a little further. Ah! I don't think there's any more I can teach you. I think you're ready for that exam. Oh yeah, I'm ready for anything. Huh, 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 there we go. 
Oh my gosh. What is it, Chief? Do you have any idea what you just did? You finished the exam in record time. I beat the record? Didn't my dad hold that? Yeah, he did, but you hit it out of the park. Wait, does this mean... You're a firefighter. Oh, right. I can't believe it. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. You really impressed me today. Now, uh, I gotta go get some paperwork. Otherwise, Susan and the accountant's gonna have my head. Just got a couple things for you to sign. I'll be right back. Wow, this is the best day of my whole life. Wait, are you actually crying right now? Do I see a little tear, Steven? Shut up, Chad. If you're here to make fun of me, just get lost. That's not why I'm here. You might be joining the fire department. So what? You know that means we have to work together, right? Unfortunately, yes, I do. And you better not make me look like an idiot in front of the chief again. Otherwise, we're going to have some serious issues. The only person that's going to make yourself look bad is you. I'm not going to let you try and mess with me anymore. You are just so pathetic, dude. You want to be me so bad. It's hilarious, but you'll never be me. I have to go celebrate me becoming a firefighter now. And here's to you, Steven. We're finally reaching your goal. You are a firefighter now, dude. Thanks so much, Chip. And thanks, Tracy, for being here too. Yay, Steven. I'm really proud of you. Tracy, what's wrong? Okay, I'm sorry. I just don't love the idea of you being a fireman. So you proved me wrong. You passed the exam and you even beat dad's record. But I don't know. I, I just don't know how I feel about all of this. Well, I'm proud of you. That's for sure. Tracy, I think you should be too. No, I am proud of him. I'm just, I'm scared. It just makes me think a lot about dad, you know? I know that me becoming a firefighter probably doesn't bring back the best memories for the both of us. This is something that I've got to do. It's my dream to save people's lives. And hold on a second. I'm getting a call. Steven, Steven, it's Chief Swanson. Chief, what's going on? The biggest fire in history is going on right now. That's what's wrong. We need you for backup right now. All right, Chief, I'm here. What's the situation? Whoa. Oh, my gosh. The entire neighborhood's on fire. The whole thing's burning down. Well, then we've got to get to work and fast. Do the best you can, but be careful. Chad ran into that house. He hasn't come out yet. He hasn't come out? Wait, which house? That one right over there. Wait, Steven, you crazy? Don't go in Sorry, there. Sorry, I have to. Chad, Chad, where are you? <laughs> oh, Chad, come on. Get up. We've got to go. Oh, I can't move. Oh, I'm scared. It's okay. Just follow me. We'll get you to safety. Oh, fine. You, you actually got me out. Thanks, Steven. Of course, but we're not done yet. There's tons of more lives to save. We're doing this together. Right. Uh, I'm ready. We, we fought, fought Big Sal Jones, Jones, Jones with the most incredible, incredible firefighter this town has ever seen. seen. We, we were wrong. wrong. His, His son, son is, is that, that firefighter. firefighter. Wow, thank you so much. I'm just glad everyone's okay. You are a true hero, Steven, and your father would be proud. Oh, and that was my project. That could really change the world, Kenny. Wait, hold on, hold on. I'm sorry I'm late. Uh, I got a project too, and, and it's really good. Uh, are you sure about that? Last project you did blew up the entire town. No, it didn't. Stop overreacting, okay? No, I'm telling you, this is great. You've got to listen to me. Yeah, why would we ever listen to a loser? Don't call me that. I'm not a loser. Watch. You can see. Oh, no! Oh, man! And just as predicted, ladies and gentlemen, Shane is a loser. That is right. And the entire world is watching, too. Stop calling me that. I know that I can make this work. Yeah, well, no one believes in you. So get that through your head. Josh, just get out of here. You're making an embarrassment out of yourself. I believe in myself. And I'm going to prove you guys wrong. Yeah, there he is. I hope you like your stuff out on the lawn, because that's where you're going to be living from now on. Hey, come on, man. I, I told you I can pay the rent. Telling me something and then doing something is completely different. Look, I'm sorry. Just give me another chance. I promise. I've got some money coming. I saw what happened on the news. You're an idiot. Nobody likes you, okay? You're never getting a job around here. Look, it was just a mistake. Look at this, man. You can never live here again. There he is. Look at him. <laughs> what an embarrassment. Loser. Look, I don't care what any of you guys think. I'm going to prove you all wrong. I can find my own spot to live. <laughs> yeah, maybe like the woods or maybe the sidewalk. I know that my project was really good and it could really work to help people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It seems like everyone believes in you. Look at that. 
Man, this is so frustrating. Like, none of you have made a mistake before. None of you. Oh, look at this loser. <laughs> Whatever, I don't need your support. I'm gonna do something about this, and I'm gonna prove every single one of you wrong, and you'll see. <sighs> Man, I can't believe I'm back living at my parents' house. My old room, it's like nothing's changed. You really had nowhere to go, huh? Look, I'm sorry, I really didn't. I had no choice. Well, you're taking up all my free space, all right? I was gonna build a second guest room in here. Well, look, I promise I won't be here very long. I know that I'm gonna get this thing to work. Yeah, your voice is annoying me already. You've been saying that all your life. I'm hungry. Maybe there's some food around here. Oh, hey, Sean. What's up? Oh, hey. You don't have to say it, man. I know. Trust me. The next project's gonna work. Don't worry about what everyone else is saying, all right? What matters most is that you believe it yourself. I have no choice. People have always not believed in me. I mean, even when I was a kid. Yeah, like, remember that robot science project that I had? All right, and this is my project, everybody. Oh, no, it's on fire. Dude, you're such a loser. Even back then, Kenny was a huge jerk. What am I supposed to do about it? I can't focus on what Kenny thinks. I just have to believe that my projects are gonna work. I know the entire world doesn't think that you can do it, but you got your brother right here. I really appreciate that, man. I guess the blessing out of all this is that we get to hang out a little bit more. I used the last bit of my money to invest in this. I've got one more shot to make this thing work, and I know that I can do it. Dude, look at you. You're actually still trying? Well, yeah. What other choice do I have, Kenny? I'm not just gonna give up. I will look at what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the richest clothes in all of Roblox, and it's because my invention worked. Who cares? Those clothes look terrible. Yeah, well, your clothes are probably like five bucks combined. Well, then that's a good deal, and I'm the one that's smart, and you're the one that's not. Why would you spend all that money on clothes when you could just reinvest into more projects and help more people? Because I can't. That's what matters. All right, I'm rich and popular and everyone likes me. Cool, man. Well, I've got my own stuff going on. At least I don't care about stupid things like being rich and being mean to people. I will watch how you talk to me, you jerk. Ah, what the heck, man? Now your stupid failure invention isn't going to go anywhere. You will never have a project better than mine. <laughs> Loser. Man, I can't believe that jerk broke some of this stuff. Luckily, I can fix most of it. Dude, is everything all right? I saw what Kenny did on the news. Yeah, I mean, everything's fine. I hate that the news is always following him around. He's so mean. Yeah, well, don't worry about him, all right? What you need to worry about right now is your own stuff. Yeah, that's true. I mean, I don't have a choice. I can't just sit here and cry about it. I gotta be the one that puts in the work and tries hard, and that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, and you know what? I've decided to dedicate a lot of hours to help you do that. I wanna be here and help you any way that I can. Dude, awesome! Thank you so much! Come on, let's get to work. We have a ton of stuff to do. Wow, I think this is really coming together. Yeah, I doubt it is. No, I'm telling you, me and Sean working together is a great team, Dad. I mean, look at us go. I don't want to hear a word out of any of your guys' mouth, all right? And listen here, Shane, I don't want you staying here too long either way. But Dad, I need at least two weeks to work on this thing, please. Nah, you get one. One week max deadline. What if I can save up some money or something? I, I can pay you for rent. You know what? If you're able to pay for all of the rent, then I'm not going to kick you out of the house. But Dad, why? Don't you like what we're doing here? We're working together as a family. No, what you're doing is you're making too much noise and it's annoying me. I'll go find a job. I'll work a million hours. I don't care what it takes. Man, I can't believe it. I get to make pizzas and everything. This is going to be such a great job. I haven't met my new boss. Well, 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 look who it is, man. Oh, my ears. Oh, gosh. If you forgot who I am, it's me. Eunice! Oh, how could I forget, Eunice? You're my boss now? Yeah, and you better not mess anything up, stupid! <laughs> Get out there, man! You gotta do work! Man, I can't believe that's my boss. Oh my goodness, no way, dude. Is that Shane? He's working at a pizza place? Oh my gosh, remember when you were a scientist? Hey, who cares, man? This is good, honest work. It doesn't matter what job I do. I'm just trying to provide for myself. No, what you're doing is you're providing the worst pizza in all of the town. You're a terrible scientist and now you can't even make pizza? <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, you guys are just being mean for no reason. You guys were cool with me before I had that accident. I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Listen, I can't hear you from all the way down there, all right? My ego is all the way up here. Yeah, man, please don't blow up the pizza by accident. Hey, I've been working on something really special, guys, and I'm gonna show the whole world. Uh, you gotta show the whole world how it doesn't work? Just save your breath, all right? This is where you're gonna be for the rest of your life. You're never gonna be moving up in the world. Yeah, I am. I'm gonna prove you both wrong. Hey, wait a minute here. I don't see you paying for anything. Nah, great. It's this creep again. Uh, we were just about to buy pizza. Not in my pizza store. Now get out. Stop wasting my time. Uh, we better get out of here, Henry. Thanks, Eunice. Wow, that was the nicest thing you've ever done for me. Shut up and get back to work, man. 
Man, I can't believe it. I got my first paycheck and it was huge. I was able to buy a ton of stuff. Dude, that's insane. You're finally gonna prove the world wrong. Yeah, and I'm gonna do it with the help of my brother. Come on, let's get started. We got a ton of work to do, Sean. Whoa, we did it. Look at this thing. Whoa, what is that? All that hard work, Sean. I think it's finally ready. We finally did it. You did it. I just want to thank you for helping me with this. It means a lot to have someone on my side, especially family. Of course. I wouldn't want it any other way. Man, I'm so nervous. I really want this to work. It will, all right? We just got to believe in it. So should I be the first to test it or should you? I think you should. I mean, it is your invention after all. Here we go. Three, two, one. Ah! Where am I? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it worked. I'm in the desert. Hey, wait, Sean. Hello? Dude, it worked. It worked. I'm in the desert right now. Shane, do you know what you just did? You invented teleportation. Yeah, this is pretty cool, but I don't know if I did too good of a job. Yeah, I think you teleported just a little too far. Wait a second. I see some dude in the desert. Hey, man. Oh, what? What are you doing out here? Uh, it's way too much to explain, but any way you could get me to the nearest airport? Wait a minute. Are, are you Shane? <laughs> Dude, you're the loser. You're that loser guy all over the news. Man, I can't ride with this guy. Any chance you got some money for a plane ticket? Yeah, I'll see what the closest airport to you is, and I'll be there to pick you up from the airport. All right, I need to make a few adjustments because I definitely didn't land exactly where I wanted to. I think I can control the distance now. Let's give this a shot. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. Here we go. Whoa. What, Shane, where are you, Shane? What? Here I am. Whoa. Yeah, I was right behind you, dude. That's amazing. We're able to control it. This is going to be able to help the world. So many people are going to be able to travel all over the place. If there's an emergency, people are going to be right there to help. This is amazing, and the entire world will know that you do have what it takes. Yeah, I'm finally going to get to prove that my idea was right. What? No way. This loser actually did it? Ugh. I can't let this stupid loser take credit for this, and I won't. I won't. All right, Sean, it's really important that we have proof of this working. So we got to set down all these schematics for the device. When I present this to the board of scientists, I'll be able to prove how everything works. Look at you go, man. I'm so proud of you. I just want to say thanks again. You're the only person that's ever believed in me. Look at all the things that you've been able to do. No one else has invented this before. You did this. Yeah, but don't pass it off like that, man. Because I was wrong a lot of the times. I understand why people maybe thought I was a loser. Because they didn't understand my vision. But you always did. Yeah, and besides, it doesn't matter how much you fail. It just matters if you get back up. Yeah, failing's a learning experience. That's how I look at it. You can fail 999 times, but that thousandth time might be the time that you create something amazing. Exactly. Guys, hurry up and make dinner for me, alright? I'm starving. Oh gosh, I forgot we told him we were gonna make dinner tonight. Yeah, we better hurry inside. <laughs> look at that, stupid idiot. Forgot to close the garage door. Let's see, what is this? The schematics for the device? Looks like me, Kenny, is the one that invented this. Ah, oh, I'm gonna change the world. Awesome, man. We got this done just in time for the next big conference. This is gonna be amazing. Yeah, it is. Wait, what's going on over there? Ja, oh, that's, that's right, right guys. guys. My, My first, first teleportation, teleportation device. device. Take, Take a look. look. Wow, wow, Kenny. This, this device, device is amazing. amazing. This, this is, is groundbreaking. groundbreaking. Hey. You! You're a fraud! You stole this from me! What are you talking about, man? This is my device. I'm here to present the same exact device, Kenny, and I know you've been trying to sabotage me the entire time. I don't know what you're talking about. You're a liar. This is uh, very, very awkward. awkward. Getting, Getting secondhand, secondhand embarrassment, embarrassment for, for Shane, Shane over, over here. here. I'm not lying, okay? I have the schematics. I have the device. I can prove it to you. It's, it's just, just in. Shane, Shane is now stealing, stealing Kenny's device. device. Does, Does everyone, everyone hear that? that? I'm not stealing anything from Kenny. I wouldn't want to be anything like Kenny. Ah, well, that's probably why you're still a loser because you are nothing like me. You know what? I'd rather be a loser than a selfish jerk. All you care about is yourself. You don't care about helping people. All you're gonna do is use it to make yourself rich and famous. That's it. You hear that, Shane? You're making a mockery out of this event. Loser. 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 Whatever, Kenny. Take the credit. I don't care. At least the technology's out there and it's gonna be helping people. And that's what matters. Wait, Shane. Shane, come back. 
Shane, wait. Sorry, Sean. I just needed a minute. This is awful, man. We, we, we worked so many hours. Hey, just calm down, okay? It's gonna be okay. It's not okay. We can't just let them get away with this. Oh, I'm not going to. There's too many people like Kenny in this world. They only care about money and fame and treating other people poorly to get there. And we can't stand for that. This technology was supposed to help people. And now that Kenny has it, he's not gonna use it for good, man. What do you suppose we do then? You've trusted me this far? Keep trusting me. All right, I will. There he is. Ja, Tim, you see this device? Oh my gosh, it's gonna make me so filthy rich. Yeah, man, and I'm gonna get like a huge cut of it, right? Maybe you'll get like 2% of it if you're lucky. What? That wasn't the deal. Well, we'll work out the details later, all right? We need to figure out how this thing works. Well, yeah, it's a good thing that we haven't tested it out yet. We're still missing, like, that crystal thing that activates it. Yeah, well, don't worry. Like, I'm a genius in everything, all right? I'll just create one better than Shane's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You totally will, dude. If they actually test the device, they're gonna prove that Kenny was a fraud. This is it, Shane. This is our opportunity to prove that Kenny has been lying this entire time. All right, Kenny, before we can give you the reward for all this, we're going to have to, you know, test it out and everything. Yeah, uh, uh, of course. I mean, it's going to work, dude. Why didn't you just take my word for it? Well, yeah, I believe in you and all, but uh, obviously we just have to see if it works. Well, I can show you that mine works. Check this out. Oh, Shane, again. Don't make a fool out of yourself. What? Wait, what? See, I told you. Kenny stole my idea, but he doesn't know how to fully make it work. So, so your invention works. Uh, Kenny, is this true? Ja, no, no, it's, it's, it's not true. All right, well, if it isn't, then test your device right now. All right, fine. Uh, uh, look at this. What, what? Oh, my goodness. Kenny's device just blew up right in his face. He must have taken pictures of the schematic, but didn't know how to make the crystal. Wow, so the entire time, Shane, you're a real inventor. You've made a real difference to this world. Me and the entire world are so... Sorry for doubting you.